Mentis Imperium. Allows you to confuse foes around you. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. Flame Breath. Let's do Exploding Fireball. Let's just stick with the, uh... Let's just stick with the... regular ones. Why not coffee in several more runs? Because my voice is dying. That's the main issue. Uh, let's go... Ice Dagger? And let's switch out the dash for something different. Airburst? I don't actually know if there's much of a benefit to air bur burst. Let's do searing dash. Or not coffee and honey tea. Because when my voice starts to hurt a little bit, my throat start hurt, starts to hurt, that's usually just a good indication I should stop. I... I could keep going, I could force it, but like, you know, I've been going for five and a half hours tonight, and I got all the time in the world tomorrow. Also sweating really badly. Okay, gotta remember. I oops. I gotta remember I do not have melee moves this time. I'm much more of a range caster, so hit and run. Well, I've got the charm. Which should be really fun. Send that up. Get the stabs. Okay. Not a big fan of the Ice Dagger. It doesn't stun lock very well. We'll see. Okay, let's start with the boss. Crash Knight. wonder if you can actually get the Crash Knight to, um... I wonder if you can get the Crash Knight to... Uh... To attack his minions. Ow. Shouldn't have done that. There we go. I love the fact that I don't have to worry about my, um... My signature. The, the Toy Rocket is just amazingly helpful. Because pretty much, now I actually get to use my signature frequently. We get Thunder Drop, and we also get... Equestra Cap, designed by Artisan Taco Bulls. This relic allows you to look quite dashing as you gallop to max speed with ease. So we've got the level traversal item, and also the look like a complete dweeb item. Alright! Why not? I might have to switch back for a uh, fireball now that I'm thinking about it. You get it? I have no idea. There we go. Thunder drop's pretty good. It's a good distance closer though, which actually is pretty far from what I want. Admittedly. Oh well. I don't have to worry about those explosive barrels. They're not like Red Poop and Isaac. Okay, that... Ah, uh, ow. Double... Butts. Okay, I guess the dagger isn't as bad as I make it out to be. There we go. Oh, they're just totally harmless to me. While I'm doing that. That's good to know. Let's see, what am I calling this episode? My little horse. God, I should do that. Just go through, like, all, like, beloved ch children's TV show, like, um, intros. You know, Pokemon. Want to be the very best by somebody that really doesn't want to be the very best. That'd be fun as shit. 
I want to be the very best. Like, hmm. Ah! 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 Shit. They have too many... Too many things that open me up for damage. Hello. Alchemist Stone. Stands of Flames or Double Trouble? What do you guys think? Stands of Flames or Alchemist Stone kind of fun? I sound kind of fun. I don't remember what any of these do. I can look it up. Seeing two votes for flames, two votes for stone. All right. Bunch of flames. <laughs> Stuns of flames. All fire are kind of cause burning, but receive double damage from water spells. Second half of the poem of fiery rhyme. Well, I'm not going to live that long, and I've got a lot of fire spells to begin with. So we'll see how this goes. Damn it! Double damn it. Keep opening myself up for damage, thinking that I will, like... Thinking I'm safe or something like that. I'm not. We are getting some health here, though, which is kind of nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay away from the charm spell in the future. It's not terrible, but it's not as useful as I'd like it to be. There's some other ones that it could go with. All right, I'm going to grab the super carrot cake. We're going to need it for the maximum health. And I could enhance ball lightning or whirling wind angel. Some of these would be kind of neat. Uh, let's see. What are we at? 99%? Let's just get out of here. Comboing the thunder jump in confusion probably pretty effective. You know, you're probably right about that. Okay. Ha! Ah. Yeah, to follow up my thing about being tired, my jaw is starting to get tired. Like, this is, this is usually the point where I, um... Uh... Oh, god damn it. I don't think I can, uh... don't think I can charm this sucker. Hopefully we get another spell here. We've got one extra, which is kind of nice. Fight for me! Fight for me, creature! Shit. Run! Oh wait, no. Let's run. We'll leave that for them, and whammo! How is he not dead yet? Ow! Oh. Yeah, boss is going to wreck me. Might kill me. There we go. Should have fought the enemies in here. Maybe? Uh, that might have been just as dangerous. We need another... One more spell. I was kind of hoping we get another one to drop. But I'm probably just going to die here. Oosh. Leave that behind. Hit him with some fireballs from behind. Leave them some fire. Lightning. It kind of works. These guys are just so tanky. That's one of my problems. Okay. I want to stay away from using my signature. This guy's almost dead. There we go. Okay, we get a chest with a small amount of dosh in it. I want to save my... I... Okay. Give me one of your... Or can I shuffle and I'll let you choose one to keep my hand. Not interested. If they take 
I mean, I could probably give up the charm fairly easily. I just don't know how to do it. Sure. Okay, so we lose we lose the charm. Maybe we get something else. Maybe not. I should probably pay more attention. God damn it. Well, I have no one to blame but pure dumb luck in the fact that I don't I don't like uh, watching cards. Oh, thank you. I kind of need those. Okay, that's one thing that does bug me about this game. If if you do like a dash, the rangers will just automatically reacquire on you and it's just like I dashed to get out of your range. Like they should sweep across, but no, it's like in a it's like a magnet. It's just like whoop. There we go. That's kind of weird. My charm is enhanced. Is it? Oh yeah, increases the confusion duration. I guess that's that's a benefit. Maybe I'll live through this yet. But I certainly need... I certainly need, uh... More than that. Okay. Into the pit you go! Not you. You die. You get the explodes. Okay, I made it. Yeah, so I'm not entirely convinced Thunder Drop is worth it. It's kind of fun. Uh, that said, I could upgrade it. On the cheap. And do like... Thunder Drop Advanced. Sure, it's on the cheap. What's upgrading Thunder Drop do? Secondary Aftershock. Actually, yeah, that's pretty helpful. Because that kind of stunlocks enemies and stuff. Giving me time to GTFO. Alright, boss time. Let's go back here. Got a sail on the shovel. Get Gaia's shovel, which does increases earth damage. Not exactly what I'd say is the most helpful thing in the world, but that's fine. Check out what the upgrade does before buying it. I'm more of a reactionary regret kind of person. Ow. Yeah, okay. That was worth it. Yeah, so you can't you can't charm the boss. Did I get... I think I got hip, hip fr by him from behind him-ish. Okay, so I do have some money. We could go get another one of these. Phoenix Talon Combo Gloves. Combo Gloves. If I remember right, that increases... Oh, basic attack. Kana has this extra combo. Yeah, that's arguably kind of useful for what I'm doing. Ish. We'll see. Yeah, realistically, I'm just kind of accepting everything as it comes, because I'm fairly certain I'm going to die, and I'm okay with that. Shit. I'm not actually sure I'm supposed to dodge that. Okay. I barely do damage to her, too. Which certainly isn't helping my... case. Oh, that's how I'm supposed to dodge it. Just GTFO. Okay, no, we're alive. Oh, I don't know about this one. No. Ah, oh, Crap. Well, that missed completely. I tried dodging, kind of hit the wall. Yeah, unfortunately my lightning spell that's supposed to damage her the most... ...is, uh, is a distance closer. 
Oh, I got her. Barely, but I got her. Yeah, the double frost damage is brutal, but now that we've got that out of the way, we might have a chance. Terror ring. Eh, we'll see. I am pretty, pretty wounded, though, going into this as not exactly what I call good chances. But at least we don't have to deal with any more water damage. Okay, so these guys are a pain in the ass. I gotta make sure I don't blow myself up either. Very possible. Highly likely. Whoop. Free chest. There we go. Oh, thank you, toy rocket ship. Yeah, so one of the problems I'm running into, uh, especially with the charm, uh, it's got a long activation time, and when you're like up close to enemies like that, I'm actually more liable to take damage trying to cast it than I'm to actually succeed at pulling it off, which is kind of a giant pain. If I had reduced activation time, it wouldn't be so bad. But I don't have... I don't have heavily reduced activation times. And so I'm just... A yeah, thunder drop into terror ring. That's effective. Ah, I tried dodging through it, but no. You don't actually have iframes when dodging. It's just for getting out of the way. Which is a lesson I need to learn for this game. Oh well. Yeah. I am... I'm too tired to be successful at this, but... I'm having fun regardless. Uh, let's keep buying things here. Question. Airborne Slam, Starbolt. Both of those would be cool, but I just want to keep grabbing these. Grab the Resolute Sylvan and the Lay's Drum. I don't know what half of them do, but still. Okay, uh, let's see. Do we have... Okay, so we've got this. All gold costs for relics are discounted, which is incredibly good! Uh, starting with that one actually might be incredibly helpful. Resistance to fire-based attacks. Burst of lightning when taking damage. Chance to evade attacks. And ice cube. Chance to freeze foes. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna go for the, uh, the VIP. Relic rewards discount card. Uh, making all relics for the run cheaper. Which should help a lot. There's a relic that makes your dodge have iframes. Yes! Okay, let's go back. Let's see. I'm gonna prep the next run. I'm not gonna do it. But we might as well take a look at it. So, I do have Storm Draft. Destroys all enemies' projectiles. Not that helpful. Terror Ring. Sure. And not doing Mentis Imperium. Pa hard Pass. We do have Rock and Roll. We have Water Prison. Bubble Barrage, Frost Fan, Shark. I, I don't... I don't actually want the shark. Let's see, Heroic Leap maybe? No. No, we want the other one. Is it a fire move? Or is it a rock move? Seismic entry, there we go. Let's do this one. What does Terror Ring do in signature mode? A lot of damage. Sure. The... Don't you dislike the shark from my YouTube alpha? Oh, absolutely. It's not very good. But yeah, so I can seismic leap into the, uh... Into the stomp. I just have to remember to do it. Well, that should work pretty well. Alright! Uh, let's see. So, a little earlier... Oh, let's switch robes. 
Let's switch to something else. So, we don't want pride. Increases max health, run speed, damage, crit chance. I think we already did a hope run, though. Let's try patience. Maybe. Otherwise, we could do, like, vigor. Oh, that's, that's barely a health increase. 525, 525, 550, evade crit chance, decreases cooldowns, increases run speed. You know what? Maybe let's do tempo. Let's try tempo for this. Reduce cooldowns is incredibly helpful anyway. Okay, and I have nothing to spend, and what, what accessory are we rolling right now? I should probably go check that before I go anywhere. I think, I think I have it set to the, okay, I got the relic root rewards card, which is arguably probably the uh, the best best thing I could probably roll right now. Let's see. So ice ice first. Makes my weapon setup kind of rough. Okay, I'm just going to run around for a second. Right. I've been playing too much, um... I've been playing too much, uh... Omen Sight lately. It's making it kind of difficult to, uh, switch back and forth between both games. Because Omen... Omen Sight and this. Okay, that's not as hefty of a discount as I was hoping I would get. Well, whatever. It's still a discount. So you wonder, could you do an only element run? I could, yeah. Ow. Really? They were... They were able to hit me from that distance. I am impressed and offended. Well, that barely did anything. Oh, and he's not dead yet. Nope. And we'd have to pick an element that uh, none, of the, uh, none of the enemies are resistant to. Otherwise, that would create problems. Oh. Yeah, even the bosses become resistant to things. I stagger basic. Upgrading that might not be a bad idea. Let's let's start doing the challenge like one elemental runs though. Uh when I'm capable of beating the game to begin with. Cause like right now I'm um I I've never I've never gotten past the third level. Ow. Yeah, these spear guys are rough. There we go. But not a problem. And because I got 500 health, I'm actually getting a lot of health with the orbs. Okay, what do you have? Donate Arcana. Sure. So we lose seismic entry, and we get a messy prescription. Which is... Increases healing received from all sources. Okay, we'll leave that alone for now. It's a bit costly to lose Seismic Entry, but I wasn't... I, I wanted to see what she would give, and the extra healing might actually work really well. Especially if we get some kind of Vampirism perk. We'll see. Let's just cross our fingers that we get some more Arcana over the course of this run, otherwise I'm going to be a... Uh, I'm going to be in... Trouble. Well, I can just run around stabbing things. With tempo, the ice dagger actually remains pretty pretty powerful. Because I can just uh I can just turbo stab things. In the face and everywhere else. And before this, most of you probably Ow. Right, I forgot. No iframes when um when dodging. Well that's okay. Uh before this I was playing uh, or trying to get my Terraria to work. Didn't work so hot, honestly. But that's life. Uh, but I was having, like, weird frame frame rate problems. And, um... Oh, it's still on cooldown. No, they just keep interrupting me. These guys together... Yeah... The slow activation speed on some of these spells just do not make them worth it. I guess maybe if you lead with the uh, a regular attack first, uh, 
stun them into it so you can hit them. That could do it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so going from uh, Terraria with its frame rate problems to this is like, oh, it's like I'm... It's like uh, hitting the highway and you're like, whoa, this is too fast. I can't deal. Okay. Get out of the way. There we go. Life is going good. He can't hit me at all. And... Nope, no stun locks for days. Perfect. Anything else? The answer is no. So we do have some healing hanging out. We should probably go see about the boss first. I'll grab... One of no, no, no. I can leave them until we're done with the boss. Alternatively... Do we get any of these spells, or do we enhance my Ice Dagger? Okay. Throws out a Piercing Dagger on the final strike. I'll take it. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I'll, I'll take it. Let's see, Wander, do you play any visual novels? Uh, does Pyre count? Because that's... Because that's pretty much the, uh closest to a visual novel I've ever played. If there's a visual novel that isn't like a dating sim, I'd be more interested, but most of them are always dating sims. I'm like, eh. Not my, not my jam. Somebody was, uh, was victim blaming me because I hit, uh, because I teleported out, uh, instead of picking up the, the chest on that first episode. I don't know what to think about it when people do that. I was like, this is clearly a gameplay uh, issue. Blame, blaming for me, uh, blaming me for it just makes you look kind of petty. Oh, uh, maybe petty is not the right word. Okay. Yeah, sure. We'll try that. I don't think it's going to be any better. Let's get out of here. Probably should have actually grabbed um, a relic instead. I. Probably should have recognized the Volt Dash as a dash, but I don't have it unlocked yet, so I'm not... I'm not actually used to it. Okay. Dagger... Ow! Okay, so these guys don't have the, uh... These guys don't get stunlocked very fast. Let's see. A lot of visual novels that aren't dating sims. Look at Valhalla and Hate Story. I tried Hate Story once. Was it... Was Hate Story even much of a uh, visual novel? Because, like, it, it really looked like just a text. There was a lot of text in it. I was just like, eh. Valhalla I will always wanted to play, but it was one of those where I just was busy. Oh, that's effective. Yeah, these guys have this kind of dirty thing. You have to wait until after their, uh... You have to wait until after their arrow thing flashes. Otherwise, otherwise they'll instantly acquire on your location. Which is... Sh shockingly... It's surprisingly difficult to, uh... To deal with. I was kind of taken aback by the fact that that's a thing. It's not that big of a deal, but if I ever get shot by a hello, there it is, Vampire's Fangs. Alright, cuts my health in half, but now I heal on kill, which is going to be really, really effective for me. Ow. Is it on kill? Yeah, it's on, it's on kill. I heal five per kill, which is really good, actually. Obviously, my max health has been reduced, but if I get lucky and we get the uh, the tiny crocodile heart on top of this, or something else that increases my maximum health, it will be, be in a good position. Uh, let's go up this way. Yeah, vampire fangs plus tiny crocodile heart. Really good. 
Let's see, isn't the point of a visual novel to have a lot of text? No, 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 no. When I say a lot of text, I mean it was straight up text, no images. Uh, at least the part that I was reading. Uh, Pyre is a, is a visual novel that, like, I'm... Pyre is a visual novel, by my definition. And when I was, like, trying to play Hate Story, it was just, like, pure book. And I was like, huh, this isn't watchable. At least not as far as I'm concerned. Also, gonna be totally honest, visual novels are a very niche product. I'm fairly certain they wouldn't do very well outside of a very specialized channel. Uh, in fact, I've got some friends that do visual novels on their channels, and it's not... Uh... It works adequately for them, but like... It would have to be a special visual novel for me to cover it on my channel, or something with like extra mechanics or, or things that you know are worth looking into. Ow! That's oh, okay. Got plenty of health. So, Hit Story was a digital novel instead of a visual novel. Yeah, I think it had. I think it had like um. I think it had, like, visual elements to it. But it was a lot of... It was just a lot of text. And, like, for example, if CRPGs, like, um... If CRPGs, like, uh... Ah, come on. Pillars of Eternity won't do well. Visual novels, again, like, it's... It's content that may be good, but for a, a sizably visual medium like a uh, YouTube or Twitch, uh, you need to have something more than just uh, anime chicks to keep it going. Uh, do we want Tectonic Drill? It's 200, but it's enhanced. I want to buy relics, but we need moves because I've only got one. I've also got weird standards when it comes to, like, visuals, visual novels and stuff. I have, like, no interest in, um, in dating sims or... Uh, have I fought the boss? Yeah, okay. I haven't fought the boss yet, but I know where they are. It's a Fleet Lancer. There's a shockingly low number of, um... There's a shockingly low number of, uh enemies here. Okay, I really like this Thunder Dash. It's very effective. Okay, full health didn't get anything useful out of here. I do have enough, though. We could also get Bolt Rail, no, Toxic Trap, or Grasping Earth. Let's try Tectonic Drill. It's probably a bad idea. Eh, it'll be fun. I was hoping to get more than this, but still. But yeah, for Christmas, Shell and I were considering playing, like, Had a Full Boyfriend. But just the thought of sitting down for multiple hours reading, uh, reading visual novels is tough. Okay. That'll get her good. Ow. Oh. oh, you can wiggle for that one. Didn't realize. Okay, still don't know how to avoid this one necessarily. There we go. That does a hell of a lot of damage, though. Third one. Or the ice storm. There we go. That's some damage. Perfect. Not bad. Oh wait, no, we've already Why do I even read this? It's the same thing. Okay, and we also get Spiraling Typhoon. Interesting. Wait, am I supposed to wiggle? 
Hold on, gotta read this one. Draw in foes with the Ring of Tumbling Winds before striking them away. Increases tumble duration and final blow knocks foes further away. So I guess I'm supposed to aim it. That'll be interesting. I'm not entirely sure if it's uh, gonna work that well here. We'll see. But yeah, there's one visual novel I know about that's coming out within the next like year or two. Uh, I think it might get announced at like E3 or something like that. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that worked a little bit better. Uh, I don't know if I like that spell. It's just a little risky. It, it slows me down if I don't hit them. I'm in trouble. Horn Halo, Double Toil, or Silver Spinning Top. I don't know what any of those do, and I'm a little leery about picking them up. We could probably use the Super Carrot Cake. Probably. Um, but yeah, so I think it's gonna get it announced at like E3 or close to. Uh, and that one looks really good. And so if you're, uh, I guess as soon as it's properly announced and I can not I can actually talk about the thing, um, then, uh, then I'll talk about that one because that one looks really good. Okay, Silver Spinning, spinning Top slows you down. Oh, right, that one. And Halo lost you half your current health. Yeah, I, I should probably pull up the... I should probably pull up the, um... Damn it. Whatever. I've got Vampirism. It'll help here. Oh, I got lucky with the lightning dash in that one. Oh, I should probably... No, there's no way we're going to find an enemy in time. No. Oh, Pop might work well with my current setup. I don't think so. Um, I don't want to move slow. Because, like, moving really slowly is a death sentence in this game. Like, I would have to already have a couple of speed-related moves to make it really worthwhile. I might be able to make it work, but it would be it would be rough. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do this uh, spinny wind move. It doesn't quite strike me as worthwhile. Like, it's got... It's got potential, um... But it needs to be something... It, it's like a bad version of that whirling spell that I had earlier. Move like a smell, tank like a rock, and hit like a truck. Yeah, if I could actually have the relics for that. Unfortunately, um... Unfortunately, tanking is really difficult in this game. Enemies hit really freaking hard. Let's see, what do I have? Oh. Well, damn it. Yeah, this is one of those situations where you desperately need, like, a... Uh, where you desperately need a, uh... A ranged spell, and I don't, I don't actually have any. Yeah, none, none of my spells have a ranged attack, except for this one, which chucks one icicle at the end of the combo, which would uh, toss me in, into a pit, guaranteed. Not great. The slimes don't heal me. They kind of do. But didn't work great. That's fine. I guess tanking is pretty possible with the vampirism, but still. Not something I want to do, do initially. Hello. Well, we could get Enhanced Circuit Line Dash, sure. Airburst or Shock Assault. Uh, I really wish I could actually check what these did beforehand, because I've seen some of them before. Uh, have I fought the boss yet? I don't think I have, so let's go fight the boss. Stray Archer, again? Okay, well that's, that's an effective combo.
Okay, correction. Ow. Correction, uh, the whirling move does do a ton of damage if you have an opening for it. What's this one? Blasting Sprite Aura. Summons a sprite that slows enemies. Only one sprite can be held at a time. Oh, they changed that. Or did they? No, I don't think they did. All right, let's, let's go buy some relics. I'll get more spells as we go along. Healing Potion, Gaia Shovel, Battery of Tyrannus was good. I'm gonna go with Super Carrot Cake for now. We need the, uh, we need the maximum health increases. Let's see, so what does my dash do now? I believe it just has an, a third charge instead of two. Battery and more electric damage. So my one electric attack. Okay, no, lightning chains just deal more damage. Yeah, if I was going solo element or was overusing one. Yeah, those guys are kind of rough because uh, they'll hit you and stun lock you and suddenly your combos. Your combo's messed up. Oh. Ow, ow. Yep. Oh, they're poisoned too. Okay. Well, that's a blessing of a sort. We get a health orb. That's good. There we go. Get some health. Not much, but my maximum HP has already gone up by a little bit. Okay, yeah. It does have three charges at max level. You're right about that. Yeah, unfortunately, my Earth Stomp ring also has a bit of a activation delay. Oh, can't go through here. Let's see. Anything else? Nope. Nope. But yeah, uh, just to go back to the visual novels thing, I would love to see some more visual novels that, like... that play like Pyre, you know, are kind of these interesting experiences and actual stories. Uh, unfortunately, most visual novels just really do end up on the, um... Ow. Oh, I just bounced my ass off of those spikes hard. There we go. Uh, but, you know, kind of following along with Pyre, I know that's kind of what Valhalla was supposed to be. Uh, but again, didn't really play it. Oh. it was, well, I guess I can chuck my ice spike at it. Oh, oh, lucked out on that one. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, the little slimes give me the health. Or is it the big ones? I'm not sure. Okay, so I can I can destroy those barrels after all. Uh, I keep telling you Steins Gate. I tried watching the anime for Steins Gate. It was weird. Uh, let's go find the shop first before we deal with that guy. Because, like, Steins Gate might be interesting, but also from what I saw of it, it was a harem anime. And I'm like... That's the thing I liked about Pyre. There's not even a... He I guess there is kind of... A bit of romance on one angle of that game. Just because it's one guy who wants to be reunited with his lover. I, I guess also there was... there was You could actually set up a couple of characters-ish. But it was barely... It was barely anything. And so, like, playing it, I was like, Oh yeah, this is this is just a nice story. And so, like, I find most Japanese visual novels just make me uncomfortable. Um, just because it's like, yeah, now let's shoehorn in some waifus. And I'm like, I don't, I don't need waifus. I have waifu. And so when I see, you know... 
It's like, well, you play a visual novel. I'm like, which one? Waif waifu or dating sim? And I'm like, mm, I don't really want either of those. Okay, Fueled Berserk would be interesting. We do also have a sale on the leap. Let's come back here. Sure, 100 gold. Okay, so that just does 100 damage. That's actually not as bad uh, as I thought it was going to be. Do we do Fuel Berserk, Blazing Lariat, which is damn good, and Heroic Leap. Unfortunately, I need like a long range spell. Let's uh, let's just go with one of these. Okay, we could get Augur of Poetry, Nerite Shell, Analytical Nodule, or Roxel's Pendulum. I could get two of them, actually. Let's go Roxel's Pendulum and Nerite Shell. I don't know what those do. Reduces all cooldowns, chance to slow foes. Good shit, actually. Okay, so it's just Clash Knight. Ow. Okay, got his, got his little goons. Bow. Yow. God damn it! He keeps having openings. There we go. Fuck! I get over. It. Yeah, his openings are much shorter than anybody else's. Um, I went into that with too little HP. Um, and no ranged move to, like, knock him out of the, um... Uh, to knock him out of his, his combos. Let's switch up our signature. Let's try Obsidian Cascade this time. And let's switch out Heroic Leap. Uh, Tectonic Drill wasn't bad. But no, I should try something different this time. Don't be greedy. The main problem is I just couldn't... I couldn't get close enough to him to put him into stun mode. <laughs> 